Today, I want to ask two questions. Does Meghan Markle have a colonial mentality? Is she racist? Hi, welcome to my channel, Royalty Bus. This is Gracie. Horror of horrors. It would be terrible if the answers are positive to both questions. Now, how did the two questions arise? This is because of the podcast by Spotify launched last month entitled The Misconception of Ambition where she had an interview with Serena Williams. During the podcast, she mentioned that coming to Africa is the bravest thing she has done. This statement is very problematic. Problematic because it is offensive and insulting to the South Africans. Because when she mentioned this, it was with regards to her 2019 South African Royal Tour where Harry, herself and little Archie went. Is this Megan at the most offensive? I would dare say no, because she has outdone and will outdo herself again and again. Well, her remarks instantly created a storm on Twitter. Vosik Megan became immediately trending. Let's look at one of these posts. You are really the most repugnant woman in the world and may you never set this awkward feedback in South Africa. You are such a fraud. Ouch. What does forsake mean? It means get lost, go away. Very strong words, I would say. But then, Megan's words were equally terrible. Terrible because it's, it was very insulting. It is still very insulting and offensive. More than 50,000 hashtag forsake Megan are now trending on Twitter, mostly from South Africa. It looks as if Megan has offended an entire country. From the way it looks, she could possibly earn the ire of the entire Sub-Saharan Africa. Another tweet. Megan is mistaken if she thought South Africans were going to keep quiet. And one thing I love about South Africans is that we don't forget. Listen up, Megan. This is very serious. Another tweet, Meghan Markle doesn't care how she portrays South Africa. She must never step foot here ever again, for sake, Meghan. We're so poor in South Africa that we don't have smoke detectors. Then she goes on to say she is our sister. Hashtag will say Megan. And may you never set your feet in South Africa. You are a racist bully and a bloody selfish ungrateful human being. And oh, you are a liar. Look at this beautiful mansion here. But for Megan, she referred it as a housing unit. Megan claimed during the podcast that this housing unit did not have a smoke detector. How did this all come about? This was because she claimed that Little Archie's nursery in this housing unit caught fire and thankfully Little Archie was not there. The nanny had taken him down to get something to eat. And this again is actually very insulting because they are the guests 
and they have been given the best. And yet, for Megan to say that this is a housing unit shows her attitude ungrateful? Yes. Self-centered? Yes. A liar? Yes too, because there was actually no whole fire at all. It was just smoke coming out from the heater. So for her to bring it up on a global forum like Spotify podcast, it's just unbelievable. Megan has obviously reviewed her racial prejudices towards Africa. Prejudices that could be traced to as far back as the 17th century, or if I may dare say, even earlier. Now let me get back to a little history about the period of imperial expansion, colonialism. Africa as a dark continent has been an image carefully planted and nurtured by Europeans to justify their colonization and exploitation of the various countries on the continent. Painted as backward, uncivilized, a people to be disciplined at best. Africans were also widely perceived as subhuman, so it was alright to deny them the inalienable rights that human beings deserved. The colonization of Africa, like the colonization of Asia, Middle East and elsewhere was a shameful and painful period for indigenous people in those areas. For Megan to reveal even a hint of that type of thinking is contemptible and disgusting. Shows not only that she's racist, which is bad enough, but that for a woke, she's so dense and insensitive and arrogant. Shocking that Megan still harbors that despicable colonial mentality. Just shows how fake she is. All her talk about understanding the challenges of being coloured has been nothing short of baloney. And she has the cheek to accuse the royal family of being racist. Hi, thank you for watching my video. To get more great content like this, press like and subscription buttons. Stay well and safe. See you soon. Ciao for now.